Hey guys, on July the 1st, an old law that we had here in Tennessee was repealed. This law banned any kind of switchblade or automatic knife and any kind of folding knife that had a blade over four inches. It was kind of a silly law and uh, I'm trying to see, I can't remember who the senator was that sponsored the bill, but he said he wasn't aware of how restricted the laws were here in Tennessee for no apparent reason. But as of July 1st, there are no longer any per se illegal knives in Tennessee. So with that being said, I had to have a switchblade. Uh, never had one because of course they were illegal here in Tennessee. And I did a little research. Didn't want to spend a lot of money. Uh, I found a company called Blade Ops and I decided to order one of their less expensive switchblade knives that they had. Uh, did a little research and this particular knife had good reviews. It's a Boker Kalashnikov 74 auto knife. This company, Blade Ops, has free shipping on every order. So, I mean, you can't beat that. And this was the price I paid for a fully automatic switchblade knife and it comes in this real cool AK magazine looking box it's I don't know it's kind of a hard shell but here's the knife it's got a real long pocket clip so it rides real deep into your pocket it appears to be really strong so it ought to hold it in place. But the best part is the button. It pops into place. As you can see, there's the blade. There are several styles of this blade. Uh, there's the steel, AUS-8, I guess that's what that is. And here's a closer look. Boker is a German knife company. Um, not really know where the the AK stuff name comes from, but the only real downside about this knife and what keeps it so inexpensive is it's made in Taiwan. That kind of scared me a little bit when I was first looking at it, but after reading the reviews. Uh, even nothing fancy's got his own line of these knives that of course he's advertising but it just it feels really good in your hand the button also is what closes it but that's just <laughs> that's just cool having a switch blade uh, I read you a few of the specs on this knife uh, let me find it the length open is seven and a half inches. The length closed is four and a quarter inches. Blade length is three and a quarter inches. The blade material is AUS-8 stainless steel. The handle material is aluminum. And I know it says it's aluminum, but it, I guess it is, but it feels almost like some type of polymer or something, but it says it's aluminum. And as I said, it's available with a plain type blade. There's like a drop point blade. There's a serrated, half serrated blade. There's many different kinds. This one's kind of a satin finish, but there's also a black finish and different colors. But the blade, the lockup is pretty tight. I mean, there's no wiggle in that blade. It's just a good looking knife and it feels good. It feels you know it's got a little bit of a heft to it it's got the, the jimping on the back here to give you a good hold the finger grooves are really deep so I mean you get a real good grip on this knife and like I say you press the button to close it but for my first switch blade I think it's a really nice knife uh, I just love that sound when it pops open but I'm gonna carry this around with me now and it'll be my primary knife for a little while and we'll see how I like it but there it is guys 
the Boker Kalashnikov switchblade. It's a Kalashnikov 74 is what it says. But good looking knife, guys. Thanks for watching.